Uh, good afternoon. Now I'd like to bring you to another Friday clinic session. On we're going to be looking at one of the stocks today. It's called Press Metal. Now Press Metal actually is quite interesting. You have the uh, lifting uh, of the. You have a cluster of close here down. That's a sign of strength. Uh, I like that. We actually teach you in that. You have a two bar reversal in here. Two twenty five is definitely rejected there. But overall, the market is still above the one dollar ninety cents. And then you have uh, uh, what we call. A uh, market is resting on the old resistance. You see this resistance around two dollars, two o five here. You got one two. So that's a good level to be really buying. And you got low volume test in here. And overall, if you switch it to a weekly chart, right? And let's refresh this again. There you go. So that's a lot of potential in here. Market is still pretty much moving out. That's good. You see, you have this support in here, and I like press metal for a trade. We're with a very low uh, volume here, right? And uh, that's a good trade. I really like it. I think there's more potential going up. Look to buy at the test here, around 205 in here. Market is going to go a bit higher. If you draw your trend lines from here, okay? See that? It's a trend line. You know the trend line from here. That's a nice stock. I like it. You know, it's uh, look to take profit around 240. Still got another 40 cents upside. I like this stock actually. Press method, it's good, it's good. You have all the uh, thing, you got strength coming in there. Maybe it's a bit early at the strength level in here, but I like it. Okay, let's look at another stock. Uh, I have a DVP, okay, which is uh, submitted from our uh, regular program, uh, which is submit a stock for DVP, okay, DVM, DVM. Oh, DVM, look at that, you got an 18 day line change finally. Hey, this is good. You know, you've got months and weeks of accumulation. However, DVM, like it or not, it's a very vicious huh? uh, syndicate share. So you can see, as soon as you have ultra high volume in there, this guy just push it up three days and then distribute in here. So now the market hasn't really moved up yet. However, you notice a low, right? It's getting higher. So that's a good sign in here. Look to buy around this level in here. And uh, however, the risk to reward level, you got to be fast. Two, three days, if there's no follow through, exit. Because you, you're risking here somewhere around 13 cents to 10 cents. 3 out of 10 cents. So you're risking 3 out of 13 cents. That's about 20%. Upside, you're looking at about 20 cents in here. If it does have an ultra high volume like this, get in quickly and get out quickly. Okay, this is one of those very, uh, but it's a nice stock. You see why? Because you have a uh, market is lifting up in here, supported at the old high at 11 and a half cents here, 1, 2, and which is very similar to what you just saw for press metal okay for dvm let's look at another one stocks here that we have which is submitted by our user uh cimb okay which is a uh, cimb shares all right okay change to cimb shares now cimb shares like it or not it has made a new high in here uh broken up the 200 moving average you got a nice two bar reversal very similar to what we saw today on our ci let me just divert a bit and go to our CI here. There you go. You got a two bar reversal here. Now that's to me it's very significant at a support at 1585. Now if the market were to pick up from here, I potentially see the market still have another leg to test 1620, 1625 in here. Because you have a two bar reversal in here. And every time when you get a two bar reversal, let me just point you some of the two bar reversal that we have. We had one here, another one here, uh sort of a minor one here. And another one here. So it's a two bar reversal will be the low. Now if you look at the low is 1586. So this will be the low of the day. That market is going to be pushing up. So make if the market were to break back down to 1586, that's the level you want to be exit. Because ladies and gentlemen, show's over. General election already been announced. Markets are going down. So that's how they'll look at it. Because you got a two bar reversal at this point. Looks like the old high at 1609 will definitely be tested. Okay. Now let's go back to the stocks I was talking about here. Uh, you got a CIMB in here. Uh, well, CIMB is still pretty much in the uptrend, still supported in here around uh, seven dollars sixty, seven dollars uh, sorry, seven dollars seventy in here. The trend is still up. You got a nice uptrend here going up in here. So that's a good support in here, and it's a one eye Joe trade. 
Okay, for those of you who know about the One Eye Joe, we actually teach this on our main course. We have one on Feb, April 21st, 23rd, next Saturday. Uh, we got a, almost a full house. However, we still have a few more seats left. And this is a course we actually teach you how to look at objectively how to make the good returns, huh? If we continue to have the bull run from this level in here, you gotta have a One Eye Joe trade in here. Look at this. We had one here too. See that? A triangle broke higher, another triangle. It may seem if the CI were going to go test 16.25, 16.50, CIMB is definitely going to test $8 again. Still a lot more on the upside. Uh, we got a, a fellow graduate here from Australia. Just want to show you the Australian uh, Dow Jones chart here. Uh, here, this is uh, Australia market in here we have. Now, Australia hasn't really gone up much. Has been from the stock market. It's been still trading up around above the 200 moving average. But guess what? You got a two bar reversal here, which is a very strong kind of indication that the market may seem to be testing high. I don't see the market is going to break down to below 200 in moving average, which is a 4,300 level, but likely to go a bit higher. Again, you can draw your trend lines up here. Okay, another trend line up here. Okay, so it will test around 4,400, 4,500 if the market were to push up. And similarly, we have a sell off in the Dow Jones in here. And what we have, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 down bar, followed by a change of guard. This is likely to retest back this. You got the election coming in there, and it's still way above the 200 moving average, which by all means considered as a bearish market should the market fall below the, from the institutional standpoint here. So this is going to definitely going to be up here. Okay, so that's just a quick overview about the market. Uh, everything is still pointing on the upside. However, market does not go up in a straight line. It does go up, goes up by two bars, come back down by one bar, or either that it goes up by three bar, comes back down by two bar. That's how the market does. It doesn't always go in a straight line. Okay. Uh, one last small stock before we end our clip. Just a short uh, CIMB. Yep, I got CIMB. It's KBB. Okay, uh, this is another speculative stock, I believe. KBB. All right, KBB again, a nice uplift, tested, swing up, swing up. You know, the way I look at it, this, this is actually looking like a shortening of a trust. You got this high here, you got another high here. But guess what? The high of this is not that significantly higher than this. So you, you got so much to, to it. And now you see a distribution here. So this market has to test it a bit. And on the same time, they've really gone up a lot. Okay, look to take profit rather than to be buying in here. Okay, uh, that's how I look at it. It's actually still pretty much in an uptrend. But if you are still positive on the uptrend in here, okay, this is actually a good point to be buying some. But make sure you have a very uh, uh, good risk to reward uh, level, meaning you stop loss just around here, take profit around here. You got a nice upside in here because we got low volume testing in here. And if the market were to swing back up on KBB, uh, it's definitely go up. Try not to buy on ultra high volume that you see here. You see this? Ultra high volume bar with a wide range bar. Market came back down, however, still supported in here. Right? Uh, this one. Out of this, so many stocks I've seen. Uh, I think the uh, press metal gives a really good chart. Just going back to press metal in here. You got cluster or close, really tested market. And you have a successful test. You see here? You got a test here. Right, you got another test here, and then the market lifts up. This this one is going to go higher, and putting a stop loss around two, just below two o five here. So that's all I have for the uh, closing bell. Uh, sorry, not closing. <laughs> sorry, that's all I have for the submit a stock for analysis for today.